Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today we're going to be covering the Ways to Wear Combat Boots, a video that has been heavily requested on my channel. The concept is quite simple. I take one garment and show you guys how it can be worn in multiple ways, often breaking the boundaries between streetwear, high-end, or vintage. In this instance, I've got two pairs of boots that I'm going to be styling, one of them being my Andaminamista combat boots with the red laces, unified sole with the ragged edges, and the second pair is my beloved Salon Paris Rangers dual zip boots. Now, as far as I'm aware, neither of these are currently available in store due to them being from previous seasons. However, However, you can replicate these looks with other combat boots which I'll be sure to link down below. As usual, all the information can be found in the description box. Combat boots have been having a bit of a moment over the past three years I'd say. To many, they will always be considered a staple, however if you're still debating on making the cop then I'm hoping that this video will be useful to you. So we've got two shoes, four looks, let's go. Starting off with the easiest and perhaps the most common way of wearing them is with your skinny jeans. Now me personally, I tend to stick with my black skinny jeans for my black boots. However, you can wear some blue jeans or white jeans for more punk vibe to it. My base layer is from Uniqlo, five pounds. They're the simple dry packaged crew neck t-shirt. The flannel is from a German brand called Ruff and the jeans are from SLP. Now for accessories, I got my sunglasses from Ray-Bans and the bag was from Paws. It's a very casual look, easy to throw on and just get on with your day. With that being said, it's also easy to change the vibe by simply swapping out the shirts or adding a jacket or perhaps going for jeans with less distressing. <laughs> we have one of my favorite wears of combat boots and that is with trousers the most obvious way would be to chuck on some cargo trousers or anything that gives off military vibes and you'd be right it's a dope way of wearing it however I like to go for something like this because it's a bit more refined than some cargos while still giving an army-esque element to it maybe that's just me again we're sticking with black we've got these amazing Hyderachman overlap trousers which tapers down to an almost slim skinny fit they're cropped in the body which allows for the trousers to sit perfectly above the boots on top we have my sweatshirt from undercover for winter 17 and i have yet to find out what the bottom print signifies so if anybody knows please let me know the beanie is from noah and the sunglasses are once again from ray-bans now i know that some may dislike the next bit because it will remind them of a skirt or something along those lines but you can always wear a t-shirt underneath to add some color or some more depth to the look oh my god that sounded so pretentious <laughs> Ever since I got these Andy boots, I've been finding cool ways to incorporate the red laces with the outfit as opposed to make it pop. Yellow and red works beautifully together and will give you a strong Ronald McDonald vibe, which is high key the goal with this look. The t-shirt is from No Vacancy Inn, the hoodie is from Hyder Ackerman, and the leather jacket is from a vintage store in Brighton. The trousers are from Rick Owens, straight cut, which also features a drop crotch, and again, they fit cropped, which allows the boots to shine and have their moment. I threw on a red beanie to balance out all the colors and as mentioned at first it is a very colorful look but i think they all merge together quite nicely and it isn't all over the place but i'm sure someone out there will disagree with that side note don't be afraid to wear straight wide trousers with your boots it can look really cool sometimes <laughs> Finally, we 
have the vintage outfit. Unfortunately for you, it does mean that all these pieces were acquired in a vintage store, therefore you wouldn't be able to find the exact items, unless you get super, super lucky. But you can easily recreate the look. We've got this overshirt flannel thing from Blitz London. It's super thick and warm, which means that in light cold weathers, like the ones you get currently, early November, October vibes, you'll be able to get away with just that coat and a t-shirt. At the bottom, we have my vintage gray pleated trousers that I've cropped in the body and I've tapered them ever so slightly. Blue and gray is one of my favorite color combination because it looks incredible. And like the other looks, you can swap out the coat for anything you wish, whether that might be an overcoat, whether that might be a bomber jacket, a leather jacket, anything goes. With a black t-shirt and gray trousers, you're pretty much covered on all bases. <laughs> video hope you guys enjoyed it let me know which look was your favorite or how you wear your comeback boots if you have any if you have any recommendation for anyone else that might be checking out the comment section of any nice combat boots please do share it with the fam so then we can hopefully all grow together oh my god that sounded so cringe anyway thank you ever so much for watching this if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up share it if you wish subscribe if you haven't have a beautiful day take care peace are you weren't shot. <laughs>